Today on Toysh's Armored Up Heroes, ready for battle against Skeletor, let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, and today we are totally checking out the brand new Mattel Masters of the Universe, Target Store exclusive, the Battlefield Warriors 2-pack, featuring a very beat up, clawed up, bloodied Battle Armor He-Man, and a Battle Armor Battle Cat, which is pretty cool. I actually like the way they did this. And you're going to laugh walking out of the store with this because the package is humongous. People were staring. Not even joking right there. Look at Merman up against this thing. It's ridiculously big is what I'm trying to say. Gorgeous packaging art. This is one of the best looking ones thus far. You get different elements of Castle Grayskull and the Sorceress. And you get these little demon monster things that I've asked for in previous videos. I'm like, you should make that. But yes, you are getting two figures technically you've gotten before. Repainted as battle-hardened warriors. You get a really cool base. And you also get two of those little monsters that crawl around the castle. Which... You can clearly see on the artwork on the side of the box right there. On this side, you get the big frog guy. You can help me out with that. I have no idea who that is. And just a huge, gorgeous display of artwork splashed across the top. You see all the villains coming at them. You got Faker and the Duplicat or whatever I order from the PowerCon exclusives. And you got all these monsters, which I'm sure there's figures coming for them. You got He-Man riding Battle Cats. And he's all messed up and bloodied and everything else. It's Awesome. This is a friggin' cool set. You got Tila, or whoever this is. If it's not Tila, I don't know. And you got Man at Arms. You got the Castle Grey Skull. I'm sure Scareglow's in there somewhere. It's just a very cool spectacle of a package right there. And you get all the artwork, which I love. You can put the dragons all over the castle if you got the new Castle Grey Skull. And you get to see all the new solicitations for all the new figures. So you got the Eternian Goddess and Web Store and the Beast Man and from the Lords of Power set. That was a PowerCon exclusive and Stinkor. Here's the barcode if you want to go ahead and grab it. Again, I found this at Target. It's starting to hit Target stores now. So keep an eye out within the next week for the big Target reset so this is gonna be fun sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot armored up he-man sized cup of coffee that works this is a look at the brand new target store exclusive masters of the universe battlefield warriors two pack by mattel and once you undo all the little twisty ties and get everything assembled and whatnot yes this is a very cool set i love this it's a display piece it's everything you need. You get a stand, you get a battle cat, you get little monsters running around, you get a big old He-Man wielding a power sword and an axe and a shield. It's rad. The best part about it is it moves around. It's fully articulated. Ain't that sweet, right? But these, I asked for this. I thought way back when, I think probably last year, I said they should make the little dragons and the creatures that walk around. And they did it, and it looks awesome. Now it's little slugs of a figure, right? There's not much movement in them. They're little gummy little things. One's got wings, one doesn't. But it's got really nice texturing, nice sculpt, nice design. Pull McFarlane and please do a bag of Castle Grayskull demons and monsters and snakes and everything. I would buy that in a heartbeat. I would love to see that so I can decorate the castle. You get a really cool He-Man portrait. Same one you've gotten before, but he's got a little bloodied slice right there. They didn't overdo it with the blood, which you can kind of tell. Probably not a good thing for kids, you know what I mean? For collectors... Yeah, that's what I want to see. But you get an extra hand as well, so you can have two weapons going at the same time. And then He-Man himself. Now, you get a different colored shield. It's a little bit more darker red than the orange of most. You get a really nice chrome battle damage suit right there. You get bloody scrapes and cuts on his legs, on his arms. That's cool. Really like that. However, it doesn't carry over to the back. I always forget the backs. Always with the, the deco, right? You get a power sword. He holds it nicely. It's ones we have seen before. And in true He-Man fashion, he comes with his axe. No deco on these weapons. Just straight gray plastic. Then here's a look at the two head portraits together. I do like the windswept battle sort of cry looking head. It, it works for me. I like it. But then you get the little gimmick right here. You push the chest and you see the battle damage of three right there. Like, fine. Eh, and then totally battle damage. Weapon holder, it's a cool figure. We've seen it before, but he's just all chromed out. Now, if you're wondering if the arms come off, 
Now, I could get mine to come off. I twisted it both ways, couldn't get it off, don't want to break anything. So I would say the arms don't come off. However, he will detach at the waist like most of these Masters of the Universe figures. So then you can swap it out with your other He-Man and make him battle damage. Swapping the heads is a piece of cake. Obviously, like all of them, just put the different heads on. It looks cool. Standard looking He-Man looking stuff right there. Now with Battle Cat, it's a little bit different in the saddle and the color sense. More of a pearlescent red, bit darker, not as flat matte as the last Battle Cat release. But same exact figure, same exact articulation, same exact saddle, all that kind of stuff. It's just painted a little bit differently. But again, like He-Man, I like all the cuts and the scrapes and everything. I like the way they did it. But yes, of course, I would love if they re-sculpted him and had actual cuts and bruises instead of just like slices of red. But on the other side, of course, much like the back of He-Man, no cuts and bruises, nothing on the tail either. But I would have liked to have seen a little bit more battle damage on the saddle, something like that. But this is my favorite piece, I think, next to the little demon monster guys, right? It's a base that you can put around your castle Grayskull. So you're kind of building this environment, and I really, really dig that. It's sculpted well. You saw all the cracks in the ground and the rocks and everything. It's two pieces. It easily fits together. But with the new PowerCon exclusive, with adding the castle Grayskull, this adding the castle Grayskull, a couple of these... If you wanted to go that route, yeah, look pretty cool as a nice, really nice setup diorama. And just like I said, you put all the pieces together, and you get the He-Man on the battle cat, and he's riding in the battle. It all works. It's a really nice piece overall. The differences between the two battle cats, like I said, is very subtle. Ultimately, it's the cuts and the scrapes on the paint-wise. But you see the saddle is, again, more of that pearlescent darker red whereas the first release of battle cats is more of a matte lighter red but neither sense yeah same exact figure in the articulation now with he-man there's been several ones released already within the new he-man origins line and you can see that yeah with this one you get the orange type shield you get a darker orange you get the red shield now and then with this guy it's not metallic but you can detach all the pieces right and make a battle-hardened He-Man. got cuts and scrapes and blood everywhere. It's cool. But again, with the stand, with the monsters, it makes for a really cool backdrop of the ultimate battle between He-Man and Skeletor, their final battle. You know, like in Revelation, how they declare that. That was cool. I just really like how this looks and setting it up amid like sword and sorcery and massive universe. It does work well. But like I said, if you want to start setting this up, make a really cool backdrop or foreground for your Castle Grayskull, any Castle Grayskull. I haven't opened up my new Origins one, but you get the idea. It looks really cool. I want to see more. Build it out. Build out an environment. It's kind of a fun way to do that. And when you have these other characters interacting, especially the little monsters, putting them around Castle Grayskull, do more of that. Make the Skeleton Warriors type guys. If they want to go that route and keep building it out, building it out, doing all these extra little pieces that come in extra little extra sets and everything else, that's cool. They all hang on the castle walls really nicely. It's very naturalistic. It just kind of looks like a lizard running around a rock. But it's Masters Universe style, so it's going to be wackadoo. I really like this set. I think if this would be a nice gift set for a new Masters fan, young kids, something like that, it is going to set you back about 50 bucks. But you're getting two nice figures out of it. You're getting a stand, you're getting some extras. It'd be a nice add-on to your Castle Grayskull, your He-Man Origins collection. Or if you got the old ones, sure, why not? I would say the only downside is more deco, more, you know, blood be put on the backside, something like that. Maybe even more little creatures here and there. But I am curious to know what you guys think about this new Battlefield Warriors 2-pack. Will you be grabbing it? Have you already found it? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything He-Man. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, yes, bag of monsters or bag of Castle Grayskull monsters, whatever you want to do, Mattel, in that sense, I'll buy them. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.